Advertising Association of Ghana commissioned a body to research into uh, our mode of advertising and the regime that we have uh, and to look at the examples of other countries similar to what Ghana has. That committee or that body decided that we needed a statutory body to regulate what we do here. They decided to call it the Advertising uh, Council and there's a bill that's currently uh, in cooking and hopefully we'll get it done. I've been joined this morning by Mr. Francis Daz. He is the uh, Executive Director of the Advertising Association of Ghana. Good morning, sir. Thank you very much good for morning, your time. Johnny. And how are you doing, sir? I'm good. Thanks. Great. I like your shirt. It's lovely. Well, made in Ghana. Great. <laughs> Give us a a brief background of the Advertising Council bill. What have you been pushing for? Uh, thank you. I mean, we've been at this for the past 10 to 15 years, mm -hmm. having recognized the fact that after the liberalization of the airwaves, right. there were no re regulation regime mm -hmm. for this industry. Mm -hmm. All over the world, advertising is regulated, mm -hmm. albeit self-regulation mm -hmm. or legislation. Right. Or you can have a hybrid of the two. Okay. But as with our country, we realized that there was no policy, there was no, nothing was put in place. Mm -hmm. And the airways were liberalized. We have a lot of TV stations, a lot mm -hmm. of media channels that mm -hmm. have been come out there. Mm -hmm. And everybody is a free for all situation. Right. And it is becoming a problem because there's a lot of deception going out there mm -hmm. in terms of the communications that are putting out, we okay. are putting out there. Mm -hmm. And most of these people too are not professionals. Mm -hmm. Okay. And in the scheme of things, you have been looking at placement of billboards and other things, out of home media, mm. all over the place. And it's like, it's a mayhem, it's like there's no order, mm. and the fact of the matter is that consumers are not even protected, right. that if you see any communication, mm. a promotion, mm. an ad, and based upon that, you take an action. Mm. At the end of the day, if you are deceived, or it is not truthful, mm. where is your redress? Right. And it's been going on for some time. Mm. We go into medicines and cures and all that. You see them being churned out day by day and with the uh, digitization mm. of our channels. It's even worse. Mm. And it's going on every day. You have people who are putting out their herbal concoctions, as and all mm. that mm. thing. Mm. And there's really scientific evidence that show that a lot of people are thinking this thing and believing what they hear on the airways. Because of the gullibility of the consumer. Right. And because of our level of appreciation and education. Mm. But we don't have to take advantage okay. of the people. Mm. And we realize they've been going on for some time. But as a professional association, mm. we cannot sit down and, and then look at these things going on. Mm. So we decided to engage state institutions, RB, the Ministry of Information and Trade. Mm. That look, this is what we have realized. And the other end is that it is affecting our industry and our profession and our business. What was the outcome of the stakeholder engagement? Because I know that in 2012, yes. throughout the year, yes. you had heavy stakeholder Very engagement. Well, what was the outcome of that engagement? We engaged GIBA, AGI, and other state public enterprise mm -hmm. federations, and, other, and they were all in tune with what we were saying. Okay. The FDA mm -hmm. and all the ministries and all the government agencies were all concerned. Okay. And well-meaning National Media Commission, they were mm -hmm. all concerned about mm -hmm. the state of affairs. Mm -hmm. And so therefore, they supported us. In fact, we even engaged Parliamentary Select Committee on Communications mm -hmm. and Trade at, at a stakeholder levels and mm -hmm. things. And they were all giving their input. Mm -hmm. So we went through the processes. It went through cabinet. Mm -hmm. The AGs put the bill together. Okay. In fact, we got to parliament in 2016 mm. and had a first reading in October 11th. Right. But unfortunately, the way our constitution and our parliamentary system is, mm. if the last parliament were not able to pass it, then you have to start, have over, to start all over again. So we are here starting all over again. Mm. And okay. so that is why we're here to engage uh, with a, uh, with, through your medium to appeal to duty bearers, the Minister of Trade, the Minister of Trade mm. and his, his, his staff, the Minister for Information mm. Cabinet, mm. that this bill it's very critical and important. What will this bill uh, cure, or what are you trying to achieve with this bill? You have mentioned the hybrid system, yes. self-regulation or legislation. Yes. But in totality, what so, will it cure? So, so this bill seeks to bring the hybrid system, okay. where we have a council. Now, the responsibility of the council is to license mm. and register advertising practitioners. Mm. Okay. So before you practice advertising, okay. or you call, set up an agency, mm -hmm. or you even work with a media house mm -hmm. as a marketing person responsible for advertising, mm -hmm. you should have a license from this council. Mm -hmm. 
the council will also be responsible for setting up examinations because it's a professional mm -hmm. council we are setting up. Mm -hmm. Like the ICA, the Medical and Dental Council, right. like the Pharmacy Council. Right. It's the same scheme because that's standard. That is the standard we are, we are, we are, we are working on. Mm. So that we have that high level of standard that when you see an advert mm. on any of our channels, you know that the adverts have passed the test of time. It has been done by a professional. Key thing mm. if you don't have the license, mm. and the media has must also inspect that license before you accept any advert that you put on your channels. The, the advert comes with a byline that yeah. says this advert has been vetted and approved by the FDA. Yes. Is that not enough? No. Why? Because FDA are only handling food, okay. drugs, cosmetics. Okay. How about the financial institutions? Mm. How about the vehicle companies? How about the telcos? Okay. When they run adverts and things that are deceiving the public, mm. they are talking about promotions. Buy one, get one free. Buy Five CDs, they'll give you 10 CDs okay. airtime. Mm. When, who is ensuring that it is the truth they are doing? So, so the totality of the, it must be harmonized. That's what you're calling. Yes, so this is a one-stop shop okay. for all advertising. Mm. So you will be licensed as a practitioner. Mm. So if the telco is come to place this ad, the advertising practitioner who has been licensed within the telco's organization mm. might sign up with his license and said, I've gone through. Okay. It is truthful. The standards are there. Okay. The, uh, it conforms. Mm. It is not deceitful. Mm. And all the, it is clear black and white. Where are we now in terms of getting parliament to endorse this for the president to give his Because answer? of the fact that the last parliament elapsed, there's a new parliament in session. Okay. So we are now at with the Ministry of Trade. Okay. So it is now with the Ministry of Trade, the Honorable Minister and his team, to send it to cabinet mm -hmm. so that cabinet can look at it mm. and if it's okay, Cabinet can also send it to Parliament. Okay. And so that is where the stage in which we are now. Mm. And so we are using this medium to appeal to the Ministry of Trade. Look, we have been working at this all the time since they came into power. Uh, we know they are busy. There are other bills that are mm. pending. But we think that this is critical okay. because it involves consumer protection, right. public safety, the level of deception. I mean, you are having religious bodies and other people all advertising certain things that mm. they are not supposed to. There are certain remedies the Public Health Act prohibits certain advertising right. for certain many right. remedies. Certain illnesses are managed. Mm. You cannot cure. You cannot cure. There are conditions. There are conditions mm. that you manage. Mm. But we are out there saying all sorts of things. FDA, they've done their best, mm. but there are still people still sneaking through. Okay, and, and that, that is that's what you want to cure. That is why we want to cure. I see. M M Mr. Dazi, I'll give you a, a minute. Yes. That's your camera right there. Yes. I'm sure you have closing thoughts to share. Yes. Ghana is yes. listening. Speak to us. Ghana, we want to assure you that the Advertising Association of Ghana is a very serious professional association. We are concerned about all that has been going on. And so, therefore, we are working with the Ministry of Trade and Industries to make sure that this bill is passed to bring a level of order into our profession so that we can cure all the complaints and things that people have been complaining about. I mean, you look at your junctions. You see all these billboards out there because anybody at all can get up. After this program, Johnny Hughes can go out there and go and fix a billboard and nobody will ask him any question. We must stop that. Advertising is an international profession. Mm. There are other countries that have done it. Great Britain has done it. Nigeria has done it. South Africa, they all have councils in place to ensure that the right things are done. Whilst people want to do the right things, the human being is inclined to always want to look at loopholes. Mm. So we are saying that let us not exploit our people. Let us support this bill. Ministry of Trade, Ministry of Information, please, we believe in you. We can do this, and let's do this together to save our people. Thank you. Thank you very much. Better late than ever, they say, but most grateful to Mr. Francis Dazi, his executive director of the Advertising Association of Ghana. And good morning to you. And good morning to you. I should say good morning to you. <laughs> Happy birthday to Jessica Parson uh, and a flower look. Of this your birthday today. If it's yours as well, happy birthday. And belated Father's Day to all the fathers across uh, the world. We'll see you after the break. Stay with us.